Hello boys and girls. I'm going to read you a story today with Digby here by Mary Graham Bonner and it's from Daddy's Bedtime Stories. It is called Old Mr Owl Writes a Book. Old Mr Owl wanted to write a book and he asked the fairies how to set about doing it. Well, said the fairy queen, it makes a good deal of difference, old Mr. Owl. What do you want to write about? What nonsense, he said. It's just, I want to know how to start off with my book. I think, just think what a marvellous book it will be. For as long as people can remember that I've been called the wise old owl, the bird who's awake at night and whose eyes are very bright. Before I started saying what a fine book it would be, if I were you, I'd write it and give other people a chance to say so, said the Fairy Queen. Old Mr Owl began to write with his pen, one made out of Mr Turkey's best feathers on a large flat stone which he put in the hollow of his tree. Very late in the night, he awakened the fairies who had been sleeping and told them to listen to his book. Then he called out to the owls from the neighbourhood with a loud hoot hoot. But before he began to read, he said, I've not enough light. I will hurt my eyes, my beautiful wise big eyes. You see, he had made a special arrangement to have his lights, and when he said there weren't enough, from all over came countless little fireflies. They sparkled and gave the most beautiful light all over the woods, and Mr Owl put his spectacles on his nose and said, Now I see to perfection, which means quite all right and Mr. Owl commenced reading his book. It told about parties and balls and picnics in fairyland and all the wild adventures, happenings in the woods. The fairies were absolutely delighted that a book had been written with so much in it about them. The Fairy Queen was more than happy for the last chapter was all about her. Well, said Mr Owl, you made me ashamed of myself for boasting about my book before I had written about it. So the only thing I could do was to write a wise chapter all about you. And the Fairy Queen smiled with pleasure. Also with amusement, for Mr Owl had certainly thought he could write a wise book. Though next time, perhaps, he wouldn't say so before he had written it. The, fire the fireflies had been sparkling and flashing lights all this time, and finally they whispered, Have a dance, all of you. We'll give you the light and dance too. It's not well to read books all the time. You must dance. So they all ended off with a fine dance, and old Mr Owl, with his book under his wing, danced with the rest of the owls and fairies. But before the evening was over, he presented to the Fairy Queen a copy of his book, which said on the cover, a book by wise old Mr Owl. I really hope you've enjoyed this story, and I shall see you again soon.